The reason total eclipses are few and far between is the result of a delicate astronomical interplay. It depends on a moon that's an average of about 240,000 miles away and one quarter the diameter of the Earth. To demonstrate just how difficult it is to get two objects to align just right to create an eclipse, I'm going to use this ping pong ball representing the Earth and this very small marble representing the moon. This is so small that I have to hold it in tweezers for you to be able to see. Now the Earth and the moon are located about this far apart in space and it makes it very difficult for them to align just right with the sun to create an eclipse as I'm going to demonstrate. It's very difficult to get these to align just right for an eclipse to occur. But once I do, I can see a fuzzy shadow on this ping pong ball that looks very much like the beautiful photographs of solar eclipses from space. The large, fuzzy part of the shadow is called the penumbra. If you're standing in the penumbra during an eclipse, the sun is not completely covered and you see a partial eclipse. The small, dark, central part of the shadow is called the umbra. If you're standing in it, the sun is completely covered and you see the total eclipse. Because of the moon's motion in its orbit, the umbra moves across the Earth, tracing a clear line called the path of totality, the only place where a true total eclipse is visible. The width of the umbra is typically under 100 miles, so you really have to position yourself carefully in order to see a totally eclipsed sun. And seeing a 97 or 98% eclipse is nowhere near seeing a 100% eclipsed sun. You've got to be in the path of totality.